Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the member forces in this truss using method of joints. In this truss, in the point B, there is a hinged support. In this support, there will be two reactions, vertical and horizontal reactions. In the point A, there is a roller support. In this support, there will be only one reaction. Here, there is only horizontal reaction. Now, let us find the reactions. First, I am going to find the reaction HA. For that, I am going to take moment about to B. Because if we take moment about to B, we don't have to consider the reactions HB and VB. So, we have to take moment about to B. Let us follow the right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. HA is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So, that will be negative. For HA, the perpendicular distance is 4. So, minus 4 HA, the load 8 kN is acting in the clockwise direction. So, that will be positive. For this load, the perpendicular distance is 4. So, 8 into 4. The load 16 kN also is acting in the clockwise direction. So, it is also positive. For this load, the distance is 8. So, 16 into 8. After the calculation for HA, we are getting 40 kN. Initially, we have assumed HA is acting towards the right side. We have got a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. Let us assume that HB is acting towards the left side. Let us apply the rule sigma H is equal to 0 and find HB. HA is acting towards the right side, so that will be positive. HB is acting towards the left side, so that will be negative. For HA, we have got 40. Let us apply that. Finally, for HB, we are getting 40 kN. We have got a positive value, that means our assumption is correct. Let us assume that VB is acting upwards. Let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0 and find VB. VB is acting upwards so that will be positive. These two loads are acting downwards so both of them are negative. Finally for VB we will get a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. Now let us find the angles between the members. Let us take the triangle CED. In this triangle, let us keep this angle as theta. We know that ED is 4 meter and CE is 4 meter. We know that tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. Here the opposite side is 4 and the adjacent side is also 4. 4 upon 4 we will get to 1. So, theta is equal to tan inverse 1. Finally, for theta, we are getting 45 degree. In the similar way, we can take this triangle. Here also, in the opposite side and adjacent side, we have 4. So, this angle also will be 45 degree. We have calculated this angle as 45 degree. We know that the total angle is 90 degree. So, 90 minus 45, we will get 45 in the similar way, here also we will get 45 degree. Here it will be 45, here it will be 45 and here and here it will be 45. Now we are going to find the member forces. First let us take the joint A and find the member forces. In the joint A we have the forces AE and AB. Also we have the horizontal reaction 40. In the joint A, first let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0. We know that when we apply this rule, we have to select the vertical and inclined forces. Here there is no inclined force, but we have a vertical force FAB. Since there is no other vertical and inclined forces, FAB will be 0. Now let us apply the rule sigma H is equal to 0. We know that when we apply this rule, we have to select the horizontal and inclined forces. In the joint A, there is no inclined force, but we have two horizontal forces. 
both of the horizontal forces are acting towards the right side so both of them will be positive finally for fae we will get a negative value that means it is compressive now let us take the joint b in the joint b we have the member forces ba be and bc also we have two reactions we know that the member force in ba is zero so no need to consider ba in the joint b first we have to apply the rule sigma v is equal to zero because when we apply this rule there will be only one unknown if we apply the rule sigma h is equal to zero there will be two unknowns so first we have to apply the rule sigma v is equal to zero we know that when we apply this rule we have to select the vertical and inclined forces in the joint b we have one vertical force and one inclined force we have to take both of them fbe is inclined we have to make fbe vertical to make fbe vertical we need 45 degree so we have to multiply fbe with the cos 45 when we make fbe vertical it will be acting downwards so it should be applied as negative the reaction 24 is acting upwards so it should be applied as positive finally for fbe we will get a positive value that means it is tensile now let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0 we know that when we apply this rule we have to select the horizontal and inclined forces in the joint b there are two horizontal forces and one inclined force so we have to take these three of them fbe is inclined we have to make fbe horizontal to make fbe horizontal we need 45 degree so we have to multiply fbe with the cos 45 when we make it horizontal it will be acting towards the right side so it should be applied as positive fbc is acting towards the right side so it should be applied as positive the reaction 40 is acting towards the left side so it should be applied as negative just before we have got the value of fbe let us apply that finally for fbc we will get a positive value that means it is tensile now let us take the joint c in the joint c we have the member forces in cb ce and in cd in the joint c if we apply the rule sigma v is equal to zero there will be two unknowns if we apply the rule sigma h is equal to zero there will be only one unknown so first we have to apply the rule sigma h is equal to zero when we apply this rule we have to select the horizontal and inclined forces in the joint c we have a horizontal force and an inclined force so we have to take both of them we have to make fcd horizontal to make fcd horizontal we need 45 degree so we have to multiply fcd with the cos 45 when we make fcd horizontal it will be acting towards the right side so it should be applied as positive fbc is acting towards the left side so it should be applied as negative we know the value of fbc 16 let us apply that finally for fcd we will get a positive value that means it is tensile now let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to zero we know that when we apply this rule we have to select the vertical and inclined forces in the joint c we have a vertical force and an inclined force so we have to take both of them fce is acting downwards so that will be negative we have to make fcd vertical to make fcd vertical we need 45 degree so we have to multiply fcd with the cos 45 when we make fcd vertical it will be acting downwards so it is also negative just to before we have got the value of fcd let us apply that finally for fce we will get a negative value that means it is compressive now let us take the joint d in the joint d we have the forces in de 
DC. Also, we have a vertical load 16 kN. In this joint, we have already found FCD. We have to only find FDE. For that, we have to apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. We have to make FCD horizontal. To make FCD horizontal, we need 45 degree. So, we have to multiply FCD with the cos 45. When we make it horizontal, it will be acting towards the left side. So, it should be applied as negative. FDE is acting towards the left side. So, it should be applied as negative. We know the value of FCD, 22.63. Let us apply that. Finally, for FDE, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. Now, let us make a table. In the table, first let us enter the members, then the forces and then the nature of the forces. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.